early quantum computer prototypes fill this lab at Sussex University. Scientists here have helped write the first practical blueprint for building a large-scale version. Quantum computers really enable a whole new range of uh, possible applications and it's very hard to predict right now uh, what is the most powerful application. But you can think of quantum computers as a similar industry revolution as conventional computers. So they're going to enable a whole new set of opportunities which you could never imagine you have before. Quantum computers are the holy grail for computer scientists. But finding a workable method to make one has proved elusive. Traditionally, people felt it would be unbelievably difficult to, to build a quantum computer. And that is because you have to really enable these very strange quantum effects on a very, very large scale. So a useful quantum computer may need millions or billions of individual bits. And traditionally, people used laser beams in order to quantum gates, the same as, as a classical computer needs. What we've done here at the University of Sussex invented a new method where you can replace all these pairs of laser beams with voltages applied to a quantum microchip. And using this technique, it is now much, much easier to build a large-scale quantum computer. Such a computer would be the most powerful computer on Earth, capable of revolutionizing industry, science and commerce. It will take two years to build a small prototype. If successful, an upscaled version potentially filling a building the width and length of a soccer pitch will follow.